Yeah, welcome to this video tutorial. In this, uh, we learn Aadhaar card enrollment system. It is a VB.NET project and I'll explain you here how we can do this project step by step. First, let us understand the flow. So how the flow should be there. What are the things we can put into this particular project? So as we, we all know, like Aadhaar is an you know, identity card for everyone. So we call in India Aadhaar, but in, a, in other countries, they call by different name. Particularly for every citizen or every person in that country you want to provide an identity card. For that purpose, uh, this is the project. So here, uh, we can make a little bit different than the previous projects here. We provided two module here. So, two modules will be provided. So, one is uh, for admin. So, to manage everything. The other one is an employee or enrollment officer. Enrollment. Enrollment officer, so they can enter all the enrollment activities. So therefore, it's a network-based project. So where you can have one server. So for admin, you can provide admin system. For enrollment, you can provide another system. So here, people can come over here. If they give all the details, we can enroll here. So the admin can able to view all these things. What the enrollment is done. So this basically for like no student doing CS and we are learning VB. And they need to do a project for them it's very useful like you can choose a different title like this other card enrollment system or you can give a different uh, title also there is no problem but the main idea here is to enter data so what are the enrollment you're supposed to do that we need to enter and that should properly has to transfer to the database and from there you can able to view it you are entering so here the lot of fields are there because when entering the data you have to take care of the lot of data so instead of entering everything in a single page so we make a multiple forms here so step by step you can collect the data at least five to six fields here and then five to six fields here another few fields in the next form like that so it will go in multiple forms so this is a form one form two form three so if you take everything in a single form and try to enter maybe one or the other error comes and also you want to make something different maybe it user friendly so therefore user can recreate the basic steps in the first step then you collect the in the next form so some other details likewise uh, we made a multiple forms to enter the people data so i'll show you all these things step by step so what this and then probably after that you can plan it your own and you can be able to do this project so this project is a, a desktop application because we run this project on the standalone system therefore it is a desktop application and now it is written in vb.net but still you can write in c -sharp or even python you can use to write the program and here is the backend that is microsoft sql server and database is uh, to create database and tables we can use microsoft sql server now let us look at the demo so here i'm open the visual studio 2019 so it's a community edition so you can download this from the microsoft website so once it's ready then we can able to build this so these are the forms and here we have a view menu server explorer we can able to see the data over here and the database name this is uid card data that is already created and if you expand the tables you can able to see all the tables i'll show the table design first fine so this is a destination table and uh, naturally there are two fields are there here so destination details and district so belongs to which district so the person belongs to which district district so that is this is the enroller nothing but employee details so these are the employee details login table to login admin has to login for this then member so member is for whom the id card so you can see that the number of fields are quite high here so you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 20 fields so when you take 20 fields first time if you write a program definitely you'll get one or the other error so sending the all these to back end is a very challenging but once you know that it is a different issue but first time definitely it's give you a problem but here we'll show you like how we can enter this data using all these four forms so totally five forms so we are sending the data step by step for example if you go to first one so we're we're, we're, we're entering only few data here only six fields so therefore it'll take care of the first six three six up to this it will enter in the first form then we have second form here is the application number and name what is previously entered will come automatically. Then you take state, district, pin code, address. 
so the for rest of the data now we'll enter okay so state district pin code address up to this will be entered in the second one so let me close all these things will be easier so next we'll go to the next form so there we'll take marital status education qualifications professions so rest of the things like so first time you need to insert the data so here you can see that uh, if you say save or you say next so this is a save record so we'll check whether you enter the name or not so if not entered we'll ask you to enter the name then we'll generate the new number then we're going to insert the data here after inserted so we'll have a values okay application number variable and the op name where so these two are this op name where as a string application number variables are long both are public in the module okay so this is the module so when you declare a variable in a module as a public then throughout the project we can use them so therefore so both are declared in a module so therefore once you pass the value to the these variables app number variable and application number variable when you go to next form so if you double click here you can see that we are transferring back to the text box one and text box two so then we after entering the data we are updating earlier we inserted now we are updating the data we are sending for each column corresponding values then we will go to execute this same a form 2 also uh, here after filling the data so we do the same thing okay so we are going to update the data so rest of the fields are empty so that we will going to update it and in, in some cases for example qualification designation uh, you need to call them because there are two fields are there here qualification designation which is already entered that we will take from the table and we are transferring to the combo box to uh, designation we will take from the this destination table and you are transferring to combo box 3 therefore when you go to this particular page the combo box 2 and combo box 3 both will be filled from that you can select the data that's how we are going to do the thing here okay so the next is qualification and the state name again in state name two fields are there so there is the state name and the details so for example if you go to state names so here it is so when you click save button so we need to check whether the, we have data in the text box one or not if not we will ask to enter the necessary details then we will check whether this data is already present then we will insert the data to the that particular table so this is to display the data in a grid view and then this is to bring back the data to the text box one and text box two this is to modify the data and this is to delete the data right so any anyway, for all this we have separate videos like how to insert the data modify so please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, browse our channel then you'll get all these things i'll show at the end like how to view this view these videos in our channel okay now let us run this project okay so straight away come to mda form so therefore i want to run from the beginning i'll go to my project startup form so here i can choose welcome form or flash screen so now it will run from the flash screen okay so this is tail actually therefore it's repeating again and again Otherwise, you make it a center, then only once will come on the center. So, first we'll go to admin login. So, in admin, only basic entries are there. So, here we can see that state names, you can enter the state names. So, we already enter one state. So, you can click new button, you have to enter the state and then you have to save. So, when you give the demonstration, uh, better you can always put five to six records in the each form or for each table. So, district names, we have one district here. And then uh, qualifications and professions. These are the basic entries that can be easily entered. So here is the employee details. You have to click new and then you have to enter all the details. So this is employee code and the corresponding password. So in a previous videos where we already explained a lot of uh, VB.NET projects, uh, some in some cases we go in deeper and we'll explain a lot of things. So watch more videos. Therefore, in each video you will get one or the other concept. Therefore, combining two, three, four. You can always make a something different project your own so therefore we suggest you watch more videos of our uh, channel uh, you'll get a lot of information so from that you definitely will gain the lot of knowledge right so this is the employee code you can enter the employees and if you go to employee list so it will display the employee list then here is the enrolled members so so if you see, look at uh, so we already enter the five people so now i want to enroll the one more person then what i'll do is i'll close this form so let me log it out log out from this and then we can log in again as a employee and then we can enter the data 
So client login or employee login. Okay, so if you give the wrong password, it will not accept. So you need to enter the correct password. Then click OK till through. Now you can see the enrollment. Okay, so 1006 is created. Uh, let's give us Jasmine. George. So here is gender, let's say female. And what is the date of birth? So let's type 2020. And then go to next page. So here is a state name, what state it is. And then district will come. So then you need to enter the pin code. Then taluk and all you have to enter. Right. So we go to next page. So here is uh, status and education qualifications, professions, annual income. So you need to select all this from the drop down list box. So here because we already have the picture of her, so the, that picture will come automatically. And here is the file for fingerprint, here is the ID scanner. So in real time you need to capture them from the devices, but anyway it's a dummy project. Here we can't connect the device over there. So but in order to connect the device we have to do a lot of things. So next is ID proof, what ID proof they have provided. So they give voter ID card. Address proof, you can say a telephone bill. Any mark and any physical handicap, no. Then we can save this data. It complete the process. So that for employee that is created. So that one member list is created. When you go to list, you can see that uh, that is created here. So how many created? We can take the printout. And here is a change password for the employee. They can change the password. So think a little different than the regular project. So if you interested this project, you can always try to do this. Write down all the design, plan it properly, and then start from the scratch. And to help you out, we have separate videos here. So you come to IBLIS tutorials, so search in YouTube. And then if you click on videos, so we have a lot of videos over here. So keep browse one by one. And then you to go little down. So there uh, we have shown like how to make MDA form, child form. Here we show you like step by step video. So this will help you to create the MDA form and child forms. And here it show you like how to create the login form how to write the code, how to write to connect to the database, all are explained over there. So please watch this. And we have SQL Server here. So we'll explain like how to connect to the SQL Server, how to write SQL statement. Because any project SQL statements are very, very important. Without knowing the SQL statement, it's very difficult to make a complete project. So therefore, uh, learn like how to make the SQL, this thing. Um, create database, create table insert, update, all you need to learn thoroughly. So these two videos will help you to do this. And apart from this, we have different projects. So please try them. And also you can suggest to your friends to watch this and discuss, finalize which project is suitable for you. And then you can uh, start with that project. So other than uh, like, you know, if somebody want to buy the project, you can contact us. So we can get you this project at a good price. And then, uh, but we suggest you can do it your own, okay? Hope you understand the concept now. So please subscribe to our channel and then if you have any doubts, anything to ask, please write it in the comment box. Let me know what you're thinking. Thank you.